Welcome to the Jace Company YouTube channel. Today, we're going to explore a fundamental machine in production settings, the overhead crane. Often, when we think of large industrial plants or complex factories, we overlook how many devices are necessary to move heavy materials safely. The overhead crane or bridge crane is one of those essential devices. But what exactly is an overhead crane? What is it used for? How is it made? And above all, how does it work? In this video, we will answer all these questions, show you the structure of an overhead crane, and walk you through its main components and how they work. Why is the overhead crane so important? Imagine having to move loads weighing several tons inside of a warehouse. Doing so manually would be unthinkable, both because of safety and productivity. This is where the overhead crane comes in. A highly versatile lifting system consisting of horizontal structure, the bridge, running on two tracks placed on either side of the work area. Its main purposes include lifting and transporting very heavy loads like metal sheets, coils, industrial components, containers, etc. Reducing risks related to manual handling by using controlled lifting systems with safety features and enhancing the efficiency of industrial processes by speeding up loading and unloading of raw materials and finished products. The Structure of an Overhead Crane Although it may be seen as a complex machine, an overhead crane is composed of a few key components, each of which plays a crucial role in the lifting process. Let's explore the key components together. Runways the runways are supporting structures on which the overhead crane's movement system is installed. These are typically beams fixed onto the load-bearing columns of the building or onto an independent structure. The quality and maintenance of the runways are fundamental to ensuring the correct operation of the crane, preventing vibrations and abnormal wear. Sliding rails are installed on these runways allowing the crane to move along them. The sliding rails, or tracks. The sliding rails are metal tracks fixed onto the runways. They serve as a guide for the crane's wheels, allowing it to move smoothly and in controlled manner along the work area. The crane's end carriages, which support the entire structure, run along these rails. The conductor line, or insulated conductor bar system. The overhead crane requires a continuous supply of electrical power to operate. The conductor line system consists of copper conductors enclosed in a productive casing, ensuring a stable, uninterrupted power supply along the entire length of the runway. The conductor trolley, equipped with copper contact shoes, runs along these conductors and ensures the transmission of energy. It powers the electrical panel that manages the control system and drives the motor. End Carriages The end carriages are structural components located at both ends of the crane. They house the motorized wheels that allow the crane to travel along the sliding rails. They support the bridge and enable its movement along the runways. Bridge or Main Girder The bridge is the horizontal structure element that connects the two end carriages and spans the working area. It can be made of a single girder, called a single girder crane, or two girders, called a double girder crane, depending on the load capacity and operational needs. The hoisting trolley moves along the bridge carrying the hoist or winch. Hoisting trolley. The hoisting trolley moves along the bridge and carries the hoist or winch which is responsible for lifting the load. It can be operated to position itself precisely above the lifting point. The hoist or the winch. This is the heart of the lifting system. The hoist or electric winch is equipped with a motor that drives a drum around which a wire rope or chain is wound. At the end of this rope or chain is the lifting hook. Thanks to this component, the load can be raised and lowered. A hoist is ideal for small to medium loads. It is designed with the motor, gearbox, and wire drum aligned along the same axis, 
ensuring a compact structure suitable for less demanding handling operations. A winch is used for heavier loads. It features a configuration where the motor, gearbox, and wire drum are arranged separately in order to better distribute loads, reduce wear, and guarantee greater strength and long-term durability. Brakes. Brakes are essential components for the safety of the overhead crane, as they ensure the stopping of movement and the holding of the load in position. Brakes can rely solely on electric motors through inverters, called electronic brakes, or can be supported by actual mechanical brakes as well, called electromechanical brakes, to guarantee safe stopping and holding of the load. The control system. The control system includes command interfaces, including the pendant control, radio remote control, or operator cabin. Also, frequency converters, or inverters, and other devices that ensure safe and reliable operation. The control system allows the operator to control speeds and movements safely and precisely. This system manages all crane movements, bridge travel, trolley movement, and load lifting. How does an overhead crane work? An overhead crane operates through three key movements. Bridge travel. The bridge moves horizontally along the tracks installed at the top of the facility structure. This movement allows the crane to cover the entire length of the working area, enabling wide range positioning over the space below. Trolley traversing. Mounted on the bridge girder, the trolley, which supports the hoist, can move from one end to the other. This motion allows the lifting hook to be positioned precisely where it's needed, ensuring accurate and efficient load handling. Lifting and lowering the load. The electric hoist, or winch, raises and lowers the load attached to the hook, allowing the operator to move the heavy object vertically. Thanks to this movement, items can be lifted from the ground and carefully placed at their destination. By combining these, the crane can reach any point within its working area, ensuring accuracy and speed. Safety and Maintenance Like any industrial machinery designed for handling heavy loads, the overhead crane must comply with strict safety standards both during installation and throughout its operation. Let's take a look at some of those key aspects. Regular inspections, routine checks and testing of ropes, chains, hooks, and locking systems are essential to prevent mechanical failures or structural breakdowns. Non-destructive testing, or NDT. Techniques such as ultrasonic testing, magnetic particle inspection, or dye penetrant testing are employed to detect internal or surface defects without damaging the components. These tests also help eliminate the remaining lifespan of the crane supporting maintenance planning and preventing unexpected failures. Load Limiting Devices These safety systems prevent the crane from lifting weights beyond its maximum rated capacity, thereby avoiding hazardous and damaging overloads. Limit Switches and Safety Sensors these devices intervene to stop movement when a limit position is reached or when a hazardous condition arises, significantly reducing the risk of accidents. Operator Training Personnel must be trained in the correct use of the crane, in reporting any anomalies, and in the proper use of personal protective equipment to ensure maximum safety during operations. In addition, the ongoing maintenance of motors, hoists, ropes, bearings, and control systems is vital to guarantee long-term efficiency and operational safety. Crane Duty Classes Overhead cranes are classified according to their intended usage, intensity, and expected operational lifespan. This classification, ranging from A1-M1 to A8-M8, based on FEM and ISO standards which are often used together but follow different criteria, helps determine which crane best suits specific industrial requirements. A1-M1 
are designed for very occasional use such as rare load movements, e.g. once per year. A4, M4 are ideal for mechanical workshops and general industrial environments with moderate use, where the crane is operated regularly but without extreme loading. A8, M8 are intended for high demanding sectors such as steel mills where the crane must operate intensively and handle heavy loads continuously. Over time, due to natural wear and tear, cranes can be reclassified into lower duty class. This process makes it possible to extend its operational life at the expense of maximum capacity or frequency of use while still ensuring safe operation of the machinery in compliance with current regulations. Types of Overhead Cranes Depending on the application, there are several types of overhead cranes available. Single girder cranes are ideal for light to medium loads featuring a simpler structure and a lower cost. Double girder cranes are suitable for higher capacity offering greater stability and the ability to handle very heavy loads. Suspended Cranes The bridge runs on tracks mounted to the ceiling, optimizing the use of floor space. Jib Cranes While not strictly an overhead crane, it is a similar lifting solution, featuring a rotating arm mounted on a column. The choice of these cranes depends on the size of the facility, the required load capacity, available headroom, and specific production needs. The overhead crane is truly essential in many industries, from steelworks to logistics, from refineries to the food industry. Its ability to safely lift enormous loads and move them precisely within a defined area makes it an indispensable partner for any medium or large industrial plant. If you found this video useful, let us know with a like and a comment, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Visit our website, jayscompany.com, to check out our upcoming projects.